Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama ma ba'd. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sunnah is the only way we can get to Jannah. We have to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay? Alayhi afdal salatu wa salam. And in a hadith narration on Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal قال أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال كل أمتي يدخلون الجنة إلا من أبى قالوا يا رسول الله ومن يأبى قال من أطاعني دخل الجنة ومن أصاعني فقد أبى رواه بخاري ومسلم In this hadith which was narrated by Abu Huraira who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who's the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Who is he? The Prophet and... The, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Only, not, not anybody else. But there are other Messengers of Allah, of course. Alayhi ma'afta sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jesus is a Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Moses is a Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa sallam was a Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of those were messengers, and there's many more. But when we're reading a hadith, we're usually talking about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu because that's who we have the hadith about. That's who we have the most information about, and that's who we have to follow. Alayhi salatu wasalam. So Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who was a companion, a very close companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi he collected the most hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi Who collected the most hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallam? What was his name? Oh. Rashad? What was his name? I just said, said his name. Abu? Abu. Hmm? Abu who? Huh? Yes, Abu Huraira. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So don't forget that name. That's a very important name. Abu Huraira. He narrated the most hadith on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Huraira. Narrated the most hadith on the Prophet ﷺ. He was very close to the Prophet ﷺ. And Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, his name is from, do you know what a, a hurra is in, in, uh, uh, in Arabic? What is it? Cat. A cat. No. So Abu Huraira, Huraira is in the Arabic language, it is from the, they say what's called, um, Ism uh, Tasgheer From the, like small, so uh, Hera, Hera is cat I think it's Hera or Hera, no Huraira means like a small cat So they, they anyhow, the name Abu Huraira Because he used to have cats a lot I believe he had cats around him We'll have to check But he loved cats Radiallahu ta'ala anhu now, so this is Abu Huraira. So anytime you want to remember who was a, the, uh, uh, one of the closest companions to the Prophet ﷺ, who narrated the most hadith, you can think of Cat, and then you think of who? Abu? Abu Huraira. Ascent. MashaAllah Mumtaz. So Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala, who he narrated this hadith on the Messenger of Allah wasallam. He said, all uh, He said, all of my nation, that means us, all of my nation will enter paradise except those who refuse. All of the nation of Muhammad sallallahu meaning all the ummah during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa up until now and after us, all of them will enter Jannah except those who refuse. Then the Sahaba, they said, قَالُوا يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ يَعْبَى O Messenger of Allah, who's going to refuse? Who wants... Do you want to go to the hellfire? No. Do you want to go to the hellfire? No. Do you want to go to the hellfire? No. no, it's a horrible place. So who would refuse to go to Jannah? This is the companions. They were thinking that this was a very strange thing. قَالُوا يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ يَعْبَى who re, Who's going to refuse? Who's going to refuse to go to paradise? You want to go to paradise, right? You want to go to Jannah? Uh-huh. Alhamdulillah. So, 
Then the Prophet ﷺ, he responded. He said, قَالْ مَنْ أَطَعَنِي جَخَلَ الْجَنَّةِ وَمَنْ أَصَعَنِي فَكَرْ أَبَى He said, the one who follows me will enter paradise. And the one who refuses, or the one who is disobedient to me, will enter, has refused. Meaning that when a person chooses not to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is refusing. That's He's actually like, as if he's saying he's refusing to go to Jannah. No, 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 I don't want to go to paradise. I want to go to hellfire. Wa'iyadun billah. May Allah protect us from that. When the person says he doesn't want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or a person who says, I don't have to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or a person says, I only follow the Quran, then this person is a, either a liar or they're super ignorant. They don't know nothing about their Islam, or about Islam, the real Islam. Because this is what the Quran says. Allah commands, so if someone follows the Quran, they have to follow the Sunnah. Because Allah says in the Quran, follow Allah and follow the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah says that. So we don't want to refuse the Sunnah. So don't be like, we don't want to be like those people who refuse by saying, by saying those things that we just mentioned or in their actions. They say, hey, I know the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ made dhikr this way. The Prophet ﷺ used his fingers and the Prophet ﷺ said certain dua. I know he did it like this, but I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it a new way. My shaykh said we can do it this way. No, this person is refusing. They're refusing the sunnah and they're refusing jinnah. Because they're choosing not to follow the sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ did these things for a reason. He did this so we could follow him. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Follow his sunnah because his sunnah is the straight path to jinnah. Okay, we can't take a new, there's no shortcuts. The, the only way is to follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. This is why some people, when they say, oh, you know, uh, bid'ah is okay. It's okay to bring something new in the religion. No. Why? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu bid'atin dalala, wa kullu dalalatin finnar. He said, every innovation, talking about in the religion, talking about worship, is leading astray, and every leading astray is misguidance, and it will lead to the hellfire. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, in the hadith of Aisha, مَنْ أَثْتَ فِي أَمْرِنَا هَذَا مَا لَيْسَ مِنْهُ فُهُرَدْ Whoever... Bring something new to this affair of ours, meaning the religion of Islam, meaning the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu minhu, That which is not from it, then it is rejected. Any type of ibadah, any type of worship that you do, a new salat, a new dhikr, you want to make dhikr with the lights off, you want to say Allahu, Allahu, you want to say who, who, you want to say all this, it's not going to benefit you. The Prophet sallallahu didn't do that. He didn't say that. Some people do that, they don't even know. Some people, they go to shirk. Some people, they go to the graves, they pray to the grave. And they say, oh, so-and-so in the grave, carry my dua to Allah. This is bid'ah. The Prophet ﷺ didn't do that. Those people are refusing the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. That's what the Prophet ﷺ said. We didn't say it. The Prophet ﷺ said it. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with tawfiq and bless us to... To hold on to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, wasallallahu wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.